you know, what is Genesis Fertilizers all about? Uh, as many as many as you on this call understand, uh, farmers have seen dramatic increase in their fertilizer prices over the last several months in particular. Um, you know, in, in Canada in general, um, some of you may or may not be aware that uh, Canadian farmers pay the highest prices in the world for their urea purchases. And what you're experiencing right now has been a combination of several factors, which we're going to get into much more greater detail throughout this presentation. Um, so Genesis Fertilizers uh, was created or born to help farmers invest along the value chain. Uh, as you can see on this slide at the bottom, there's a significant amount of players in this value chain, right from the, the uh, raw materials that go into making urea to the ultimate uh, passing from the retailer to the farmer for use on their, their farms. So we want to bring together, or Genesis Fertilizers wants to bring together multiple components to create a farmer-owned fertilizer production and distribution network. Uh, dedicated to advancing private sector growth and partnerships and that generate major economic benefits uh, to you as Canadian farmers and agriculture in Canada. Western Canadian farmers uh, will be able to invest capital into this project and in turn uh, with that investment in a major production plant uh, will also reap the benefits of a supply and distribution network. Uh, Genesis uh, will mass produce urea fertilizer uh, you can see here on the left side of our slide here, we're targeting uh, production uh, capacity of 700,000 metric tons per annum. Uh, we believe that this will be the first world-class nitrogen production fertilizer and distribution enterprise created exclusively for farmers. Uh, we haven't seen anything like that, or at least in my history of being uh, in the agricultural industry, we haven't seen anything like that. And we're going to be positioned uh, rapidly to respond to growing demand for high quality fertilizers while allowing those who invest to participate in this big chunk of the value chain that you see at the bottom of our screen here. Um, I call it the closed loop concept. In other words, a domestic production going directly to farmer for consumption. This is the future. This has got to be the future where farmers own their own production facilities. And I wanted to be a part of this project and to assist Genesis, the Genesis management to get this project financed. European banks are exceedingly interested um, in such projects. Why? Because um, the neckbacks uh, for such a project is interesting. Why? You don't have middlemen. There are no importers involved. There are no traders involved. There are no wholesalers or agents involved. No unnecessary uh, logistics, as this all costs money. Money that the farmers at the end are paying. Money which is saved. The production is virtually at farmers' doorstep in Manitoba, in Alberta in Saskatchewan, and who owns it? The farmers own it. In other words, they've got the upside. Why, again, are banks interested? Because the money which you're saving, um, which farmers are saving, um, will basically reduce your urea fertilizer input prices. Um, just imagine, who has been earning over the last 10 years um, Pots of money, fertilizer producers, fertilizer wholesalers, fertilizer marketers, um, fertilizer retailers, grain companies, fertilizer logistic companies. And I predict that the earnings um, for the above will improve over the next 10, 15 years, especially for fertilizer producers. Who will not be earning? Who will not get this upside, basically? are the growers, the farmers. Your farm inputs will increase. Your land prices are increasing. Farm equipment prices are increasing. Your seeds are increasing. Labor prices are increasing. Logistic prices are increasing. And please let us not forget about inflation. You farmers will have to assume the full risk, whether it is the weather, your yield per acre, whether there's sufficient moisture during the season when necessary, higher fertilizer prices, et cetera, et cetera. And this is why I'm here talking to, 
to you. And uh, I'm assuring you, I will not bore you with shareholder value, with debt service coverage ratios or internal rates of return or debt equity ratios. Let's leave this to the accountants. Let leave this to your financial, your personal financial advisors. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about today is what makes sense for you farmers. Uh, 